So I want to take a moment and show you exactly the difference between CS4 and CS5, particularly when it comes to RAM previewing larger files. Uh, the new 64-bit performance in After Effects CS5 really makes a difference, especially when you start talking about you know full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution and higher, and also when you start talking about higher color bit depth. So in this example, I'm working with a piece of red footage that's roughly 3K resolution. This is 2,816 pixels by 2,304 pixels uh, set in an anamorphic composition. I'm running this at full resolution and I'm also running this at 32 bits per channel. So I have full floating point color inside of After Effects. Now if I just want to RAM preview just this, this single shot here, the most that I can get out of this is roughly about half a second. Um, you can see here, um, this with it looping, this is about the entire time that I can record. Now let's go ahead and switch over to CS5. So here we are inside of CS5, and I've already started the process of uh, creating a RAM preview here. Again, all of the settings are identical from the CS4 composition. We're working in 32 bits per channel uh, color space, so floating point color, working with the same piece of red footage, an R3D file. Now over in CS4, of course, we only got about half a second worth of previewing. Right now we've already surpassed that. Uh, we're already past a second here, coming up on a second and a half. And you can see that After Effects CS5 is now taking advantage of the uh, full amount of memory when doing RAM previewing. So right now, um, it's taking advantage of the full 8 gigabytes of memory in the system. If I had more memory in my system, it would take advantage of even more uh, RAM previewing capability. A couple of other areas where uh, being 64-bit native really helps out, the actual rendering per frame is faster, uh, especially when you start working with more uh, complex compositions. You end up uh, rendering faster because it can hold the uh, nested compositions in memory longer. Uh, it doesn't have to refresh each frame every single time. Now you're seeing, uh, here we are at the full amount of RAM previewing here and again you can see just a huge amount of difference between CS4 where we were only getting about a uh, half a second all the way now you know in this very high-end format here working with uh, red roughly 3k resolution um, full 32-bit floating point color and yet we can now render uh, RAM previews out for uh, over uh, two seconds here is what we're getting.